Hi everybody, it's Grace Babies back again on a Friday. Friday is a day that I usually am on here. So happy Friday everybody, TGIF. Um, it's beautiful weather here now, my God. Um, it's like, you know, high 70s, low humidity, beautiful sunshine there all day long. I don't know. It's just, it's paradise. <laughs> what can I say? Okay, so I did the sales video for um, Alfie yesterday, and I said I would come on and do his sister, Aubrey, today. Well, as usually happens with me, <laughs> we are going to change her, and I want to put some powder on her. And Mr. Bear likes to hang around these kids, but, um, we're gonna have to put them down for now. Um, as usually happens with me, I have totally changed my mind. <laughs> I'm not selling either one of them. They're just, they're just me. They're just, they're just me. They're just, I don't think that anyone else, I, I, I mean, I'm sure someone else would, but I don't know you know, in my lifetime, if anyone else would appreciate these dolls, these two, for how much I appreciate them. And I really do appreciate them. They're just so gorgeous. Um, they're just so unique. Um, this little one is a partial silicone. Can I have your little lovey boo boo? And, uh, she just, you know, falls in any position you put her in. Um, you know, it's just like, I mean, much more posing than a, than a full body silicone would be. She can suck her thumb and, you know, just, she can do anything. Her little legs can cross. She's got elbow armatures and knee armatures. Right, girl? And, uh, so I'm gonna change her into a long sleeve something just for fall. And, um, but first I wanna powder her. So, this is Aubrey, and she's Aubrey number four of 12. There were 12 made of her. She's like I said, cloth body silicone, partial silicone, which makes them so much more cuddly, you know, and they can bend in the middle and, well, some of the soft silicones can do that too. But anyway, um, she's just so snuggly because she's just so squishy soft there. Okay, sweetie, how does this go? Oh God, I think we have to get it over your head. Yes, I think we have to get it over your head. There's little Miss Skinny Legs, just like Alfie. She's skinny. She's a skinny little baby. But I love skinny babies. I don't know what it is. I think it's because, like I said, my mother has skinny babies. You know, I never had any babies. And um, so I just know what my mother had. I mean, I just know that the babies that I took care of, <laughs> which were my mother's babies. Um, and they were skinny. And once again, all the toes are separated. Look at those baby feet. And, you know, like, look at the veining and the modeling and, oh. The veining alone on, the, on her dolls is just incredible. It's just there very minutely. You know, it's not one great big blue vein. It's like little, you know, spider veins and stuff. It's really neat. So, come on, sweetie. Um, I thought I'd give her a powder because uh, I, as I was um, getting her out today, I, I saw a few little shiny spots. Didn't I? I saw a few little shiny spots on you, which I'd never seen before. You know, this doll, I've had her for three years. Um, I think she was made in 2018. I'm not sure. I'm not her first mom. 
And um, yeah, let's put this back on there. Um, but I have never had to pat her, but she she is feeling a little tacky, I must say. So we'll do a little powder, girl. Yeah. We'll give you a little powder. I think we can do it without taking this t-shirt off. I think we can. So how's everybody doing? Anybody getting any new babies? I'm getting some new babies, of course. I'm always getting new babies, aren't I? Um, I'm real excited to get this BJD that I've ordered. I'm just so excited about that. I can't even hardly think about the babies anymore. The reborns, I mean. No, actually, the reborns are always in my mind. <clears throat> They're my first love. My, you know, not my first love, but, you know, it's, it's what I'm really passionate about. I always get these little snaps wrong. I like to fold everything up because I don't always, um, you know, I don't always wash and press and all that stuff <laughs> much. Unless something gets really, I can see that it's dirty. But I have such clean little dolls. <laughs> right, Birdie? Aren't they clean? And we're going to put this little, that was a little tea collection um, outfit. And we're going to, she looks really good in tea collection outfits. And we're gonna put this little butterflies. It's got a little smocking and it's sort of a purple color with butterflies of different colors all over it. Some are gray and yellow and red and even a little pink down here. It's it's cute. And she looks really good in these. You know, each doll has their own uh, <clears throat> thing that they look really great in. You know, um, like Percy always looks good in sort of rustic type stuff. And, and uh, other dolls look good in like fancy stuff, you know, like frilly fancy stuff. And um, you know where to shop for them. So what do you think? You think we could take, well, we'll just, we'll take this off a little bit. I don't want to take the whole t-shirt off. What's that diaper? What's that diaper you got on there? What's that little diaper? It's cute, isn't it? It's got little deer and stuff on it. But see, she's cloth body. Yeah, see, um, I saw a few little shiny spots somewhere. I don't know where. But see, I mean, this doll moves all over the place. You know, like, she can move and, you know, her legs come out and her legs bend up. Isn't she neat? I can't let this doll go. I'm sorry. <laughs> <sighs> I just can't. <laughs> okay, where's, uh, here's the powder stuff. All right, watch out, Bernie. This might get in your lungs or something. We wouldn't want that to happen, would we? Just stay out of the way, goofball. Stay out of the way, Bernie Green. See, when you um, power them, if they feel gritty afterwards, you've powdered too much. You've powdered, you've, you've, you've been powdering them too much. If they feel smoother after you've powdered them, then that's a good time to powder. 
See, now this, she already feels a little smoother. But if you powder them all the time, you're gonna get a buildup. And then it's gonna become gritty. Yuck, right? This is a peaceful little thing. He's for a little, he's for a little oh, little pretty. All right, let's see. Yeah, see, I can see all these little, you know, mottling and veining and, you know, these little spider veins and stuff. It's really cool. This is a very, very detailed doll. She's not everybody's cup of tea, I know. But she's really mine. I really love her. I can't help it. I took her today to make this video and I said, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> I love you too much. This doll, um, And Alfie and Ariel and um, the little doll that I, the little um, one that I call Sally, are in my bedroom. So when I wake up in the morning, I see Aubrey and Alfie and um, Sally. And, um, uh, And she always, you know, no matter how you layer, you know, let's see if I can show you. And no matter how you layer, she always goes into a very natural pose. You see how she's just like, naturally posing there. You see that? Just like real arms and legs would do, you know, not all scrolled around, not all, you know, like this is not all bent in the middle and you know how some, some silicones are. I mean, she's got real little elbows and real little wrists and Look at these ears. I mean, these ears are a work of art. They just are. I'm sorry, but they are. I mean, look at these ears. Now I gotta, I put too much in that here. Now I gotta get a Q-tip. Oh, well, we'll do that later. But these ears are really, I mean, look at these little ears. No, you have to get a little Q-tip out, sweetie. I think I've put too much powder on her now. Enough powdering. <laughs> but like I say, I don't think I've ever powdered her before. Just now, I think she might need it. It's just lately. There. But see, isn't that ear gorgeous? That little ear? See, that little ear just matches her little head. She's a small newborn, again, but actually, she's bigger than Alfie. See that little ear? And um, she might have lost a little hair back here. I'm not sure. I don't think she has since I've had her. It looks pretty good to me. I mean, babies don't, you know, babies have very sparse hair, guys. They don't have a thick head of hair, although it's, it's cool to see, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, see.
See, look, look, look how she's just naturally posing like that. I like a little, I like a little top knot in her hair. <laughs> Sometimes I do, but I'm gonna put a headband on her, so I'm not gonna do that. Okay, guys, enough powdering. <laughs> I don't have you on a cloth diaper. I usually have her on. A, I mean, I usually have all my dolls on cloth diapers, but sometimes I put them on a paper diaper if I'm putting on an outfit where I don't want the diaper to be all bulky, you know, underneath the outfit. And actually, it's good because this outfit, well, I don't know. I might change her diaper at some point. Yeah, so anybody got any new dolls coming in? And, um... You know, like she takes a pacifier and a, a bottle like a champ. I mean, I show you. She's got, you know, gums and tongue and oobla and all that stuff. I don't know whether they're doing that much anymore, the tongue and gums and oobla thing. Especially the oval, I don't think they're doing that much anymore. Let's see, it goes right in. This is a great big pacifier. And it goes right in. Zip! Zippity doodle! sweetie. I love her little toes. And she's sort of darkish. I mean, not dark. Okay? She's sort of olive skin a little bit, I would say. Which also um, looks like my family. She looks a lot like my sister when she was born. My sister was not a pretty baby. She grew to be pretty. I mean, she wasn't an ugly baby, but she wasn't a real beautiful baby. My brother was a beautiful baby. My brother got all the looks in the family. Isn't that the way? Two girls and a boy, and he got all the looks. Two girls and a boy, and he got all the looks. I mean, until he was about seven or eight, he had blonde, curly hair. He just had the most angelic face. He was anything but angelic personality. But that's enough. But, um, yeah, that's like it goes, isn't it? Isn't that the way it goes? <laughs> oh, Lordy. But we made the best of it. <laughs> And uh, my sister is a gorgeous girl to this day. She seems to be, she seems to be weathering her old age better than my brother and I. Like she looks the same now as she did 10 years ago. You know what I mean? And I, I guess she's what, I don't know, 50. Six, something like that. Something like that, 56. All right, sweetie pea. Come on. We're gonna put this over your head because I don't think this is big enough to go over your body. But it could be, but let's just do this to be safe. All right. Goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Mommy, what are you doing to me? Oh my little my little baggie. 
did that go? <laughs> there she is. Suzanne had one of these. Um, Suzanne's babies. She had one of these. Aubrey's. Hers was um. Hers was actually cuter. Um, I think she called her Eugenie. And she was. She sort of had two tone blonde up front, and she was painted a little differently. She was painted lighter skinned. And, uh, anyway, I loved her, but Suzanne, you know, um, is branching out with silicones and has gotten, uh, some really gorgeous ones lately, including, uh, she just got herself a tail, tail, Claire Taylor Alex partial silicone, um, painted by her favorite artist, um, Taylor Hughes. What's her name? Alexandra Taylor Hughes. And, um, oh my God, she did such a gorgeous job on that doll's coloring and her hair and everything. It's really, I haven't seen an Alex look quite like that. You'll have to go check it out. If you haven't already, you probably have. Poor Suzanne, um, moved house not too long ago, and then, oh God, it was just, you know, one thing after another going on, as a lot of times happens. You know, they say that moving is, um, one of the most traumatic things in a person's life, moving house. And it can be, it definitely can be. I was telling her that the one we moved to a new house, and oh my God, everything was wrong. I mean, everything was wrong. Luckily, it was a new house and under warranty and all that stuff, but, um, you know, the first, I was telling her the first time we turned on the shower, all of a sudden I got it, the idea that this wasn't filming, but it is. Yeah, so the first time we turned on the shower, the uh, pipes in the basement were not tightened properly. And it just flooded the whole basement. And we had, you know, this is the first night we were there. And we had moving boxes filled with, um, you know, we were going to make the, we are going to finish off the basement was unfinished. Luckily at that time but we were gonna finish off the basement. So we had my husband's stereo equipment, you know, make it into a rec room. So we had my husband's really expensive stereo equipment in boxes down there. And luckily it didn't get ruined, but um, a lot of things were ruined. And uh, okay, so that was the first thing that happened. <laughs> Sometimes these things never end, I'm telling you. See how she just, see, see how she just does that? You see, I just love that. Um, anyway, what was I saying? The next thing that happened was the next, the, 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 the next time it rained, or the first time it rained after we'd been in there. Um, The water came pouring in under the doors, under the front door, under the bedroom door. Our bedroom, um, the master bedroom led out into the uh, deck. So it was an outside door, you know. It was a beautiful place out in the country. 
Um, you know, we were on seven acres and that was when I had the dogs, you know, I was breeding dogs and doing dog shows and stuff like that. And it was a perfect place for us. And, uh, but, oh my God, I mean, a million things went wrong with that house. But we got it all fixed up. I mean, we worked on it every year. We worked on something else, you know? The fencing, the this, the that, the other thing. And by the time it was all perfect, we sold it. <laughs> and uh, made a little profit, but not really that much. And um, uh, the next people that got it, oh my God. We were friendly with the people next door, um, which next door out there was pretty far away. And um, anyway, we were pretty friendly with them. And uh, <clears throat> the guy calls up Eddie and he says, um, they foreclosed on, on, on the house that you sold. And he says, what? And he says, yeah, um, they didn't make their payments and they just abandoned it. And it's a total wreck. He said, there's holes in the walls and all this stuff and we were like oh my god he said so they've got it up for auction we sold it god how, how, i can't remember the price that we paid sold it for but we sold it for over four hundred thousand. i'm pretty sure yeah and they had it up at auction for like a hundred thousand or 75,000 or something. So this guy, our neighbor bought it and made it a, um, a rental, you know, um, cause he was right next door so he could be there at any time. So he made it a rental and uh, isn't this cute on her? Her little butterflies. cute, isn't it? Put your little arm down, honey. We don't want them to think it's stuck up there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lordy. Yeah, selling dolls is terribly nerve-wracking for me. It's just too nerve-wracking. It's just too nerve-wracking. I have sold dolls, but, um, gosh, I don't know. These two, I think, are just too precious to sell. I'll sell something else. <laughs> I don't know what, but I will. Okay, let's put this little, I think this headband is going to be too big for you. Isn't it? Maybe not. There it is. It's not... It's a little loose, but it's not too loose. Oh. <laughs> what do you think? I think it looks better in the middle. Is it too big for this little tiny head? I think it is. I think it's too big for this little tiny head. What do you think? Oh well, we'll see. I'll take some pictures and see if it works. If it doesn't, I have another headband this color with a little bit of yellow on it even. I might stick on there instead. This is too big for her head, isn't it? Well, that's it guys. That's it for today. Say bye bye, sweetie. Um, am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. Say bye-bye. We changed our minds. I'm going to be staying here. That's the best thing. <laughs> okay, guys. Lots of love and have a great, fabulous weekend.